Perhaps one of the creepiest videos ever to grace the internet. This clip will definitely make you a believer. Published by Real Ghost Videos, the original source of this upload is unknown. Filmed at around 3 in the morning, the cameraman enters a room where a child is sitting cross-legged, staring off into the distance. A pair of hands are playing with her hair. The hands assumedly belong to a child hiding in the cupboard behind her. But when the cameraman races over to see who is there, there's nothing but an inanimate doll inside, and not even one with lifelike hands. This doll is stuffed with no discernible fingers. The cameraman shakes the girl trying to wake her, but she seems in a trance. What's going on here? Is something supernatural happening before our very eyes? I'm convinced. This dog is scared of something, and you're about to find out what. Published by Real Ghost Videos, the original source of this re-upload is unknown. The clip shows a white dog running around in the middle of a road at night. He pauses as he becomes alert to this pair of legs running around. A young boy enters the frame, but it's unclear if he also sees the half-body. The pair of legs, dressed in white pants, disappear into the darkness, and viewers are left to wonder if what they just saw is real or has somehow been staged. Is this a chicken-with-its-head-cut-off situation? If not, how is this video created? It sure doesn't look like CGI to me. When flagging a cab, common courtesy is to let the ghost go first. Posted by Ghost Videos in July of 2020, the CCTV footage from 2012 shows a passenger waiting for a taxi at night on a quiet road. A cab pulls up and the passenger approaches the back door. That's when an apparition, hunched with either long black hair or a dark head wrap, appears out of nowhere and follows him into the back seat. Although the woman could have perhaps been hidden completely behind this beam near the road, it certainly doesn't seem like it. The beam is too narrow to conceal her entirely. The woman also appears semi-transparent at points. It doesn't seem to be due to the camera's quality because the man appears completely solid. Is this poor passenger being stalked by a ghost? He'd better get rid of her before she follows him home. What is this floating object in the sky over Mexico? Posted to the Mexico subreddit, UFO Seeker 1985 wants to know what others think of this video. The footage was filmed in February of 2022. It shows a mysterious unknown object drifting down to Earth from the sky. Three stray dogs in the area run after the object and are watching it from below. The object drifts away and it doesn't become clearer what it is. It seems to shapeshift as it travels. Can you find any explanation for this flying object? Or are you as stumped as those in the comments? I'm not sure what this could be exactly, but one thing's for sure. This footage certainly is mysterious. A pair of pups got the fright of their lives when they brushed up against this poltergeist. Posted on the Paranormal Evidence subreddit, ACC6894 writes that his little brother and girlfriend came and saw the drawer was out and the radio was playing. They checked the home footage. This is what they found. The scary video shows two dogs watching something intently. That something is out of sight from this camera angle. After a moment, the dogs start whining looking around the dresser. That's when an entire drawer catapults out, scaring them both and nearly hitting one of them. Some are pointing out a face in the mirror that appears when the dogs jump out of the way, but that looks like the dog's reflection to me. Others theorize that the dog's collar got caught on a drawer, but it certainly doesn't look like that's the case, and some are suggesting that a person hiding behind the dresser pushed the drawer out. Which theory do you lean toward? Sometimes the real action is right over your shoulder. Published by Aryam Masalski in March of 2013. Artyom is working, facing his computer. But look at what's going on behind him. A black object on the chair lifts ever so slightly before falling back into place. Then the bedroom door swings open. But it doesn't just remain ajar. It continues to swing open and closed, open and closed, until it closes completely, only to open again a short time later. 
An outfit hanging on the wall lifts at the same time. It rises into the air until it's hanging high. Then it inches curiously down again until it's crumpled at the top of the chair. Is this what's happening to all of us just out of sight? We can only hope not. Something paranormal is messing with this warehouse worker. The worker in question is looking around the warehouse with fear pumping through his veins. He looks all around him, not seeing or hearing anything out of the norm. Until this happens, several boxes are thrown from their stack. What was that? The man searches around to find the culprit who we all assume must be hiding behind the stacked boxes. But when the worker moves around to the other side of the boxes, you see there is nowhere to hide here. It's a solid stack. The culprit remains at large. Published by JD32199NS in July of 2013, this group was just playing around when evil struck them. In the clip, the boys explain that they're in their kitchen and they've been seeing some creepy stuff. Yeah, we've been seeing some really creepy stuff. The boys ask the demons to give them a sign, and almost immediately, a glass cup full of pens on the counter is flung to the floor. Where it breaks, scattering the pens. The guys immediately flee from the room and decide to leave the house entirely. As they're fleeing, a pillow is thrown. Out the back, out the back. Out the back, go, go, go. Open the door, I think. No, front door. Go to Ralph's or something, dude. That didn't do any damage, but the glass did. The uploader later wrote, I actually sustained several cuts from the glass as it was thrown past Stefan and shattered about two feet to Stefan's right. I literally felt small shards of glass penetrate my shirt and I had to pull a lot of glass shards out of my feet. Lesson learned, do not provoke the demons. People in the comments call this some of the best paranormal footage anyone has ever caught on camera. Published by ILBM Bono Paranormal in November of 2021. This abandoned place in the middle of the forest is full of unpleasant surprises. As the cameraman is checking out some crumpled up papers he found on a shelf, he feels like he's being watched. Hello. I swear I closed the door. The man gives chase around the building and hears some strange noises that give him pause. Here. What the freak? Oh. He comes across a mysterious little doorway and again senses something behind him. What was that sound? This the freak. Some sounds. Hey. Looking over his shoulder though, nothing's there. But things are about to get even more chilling. He rounds a corner and then a phone starts to ring. How and where is it coming from? No way this... He follows the sound and finds it in a separate room. It's not even plugged in. It's not plugged in. In another room, he sees this. An unknown object stands up on its own and then falls down. Okay, that... I saw it moving and I... Just completely... That one seems to truly terrify him. 
Would this one send you running? I agree with the commenters when they say this is some of the best paranormal activity caught on camera. I've got a challenge for you. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. What would you do if you encountered this mess? Published in August of 2011, Dalish Possession unveils the aftermath of what he assumes must be poltergeist activity in his kitchen. He says he entered the kitchen at around 11 p.m. only to find every single cabinet and drawer open. I came out of my uh, computer room, which is right there, and, and every single drawer in my kitchen is open. There has been some. He says there must have been strange noises and he just wanted to document the results. Strange noises going on at night and I just wanted to uh, document this really quickly. Dallas writes, This is the second time this has happened in two days. I'm going to try to set up a camera to catch what's going on. I mean, there's no other way about a poltergeist, right? Or a ghost. This is the uh, second time that this has happened. Will this poltergeist become shy with an audience? Or will he become even more aggressive? 